Hey everyone, Nick here from TechRadar. Today we're looking at EMUI 11, which is the latest version of Huawei's custom Android UI. The software has just gone into beta, so we decided to get our hands on it to see exactly what's new in this version. We're going to be looking at EMUI 11 running on this Huawei P40 Pro, and I'm going to be comparing it to EMUI 10, which is currently running on my Huawei P30 Pro to see exactly what the differences are with this version. First off is the always-on display. Now, it's had quite a bit of an upgrade and you can see here that it's a lot more artistic than uh, what it looks like on EMUI 10. So let's go into it now and see how we can customize it. There are a lot of different options with how it looks now. You can choose a lot of different modes. So for example, we have this particular display style here, but you can also choose to add GIFs to your um, always-on display like so. You can also pick uh, other artistic modes, graffiti. One thing we especially like is this particular artistic mode. Uh, lets you actually select colors from an image. So for example, it's showing blue, yellow, and red at the moment. We're gonna go ahead and change that. We're just gonna choose a image from our gallery. Go to camera. Uh, we've got a you know mildly interesting photo of a carpet here. It's got bits of browns and grays and greens. We're gonna select that. We're gonna say extract colors, and you'll see that it now has the colors that it's pulled from the carpet. We can click apply, and then that'll basically be our always on display. Coming to the photo gallery app, one change you have is now the ability to pinch zoom to swap between having the month and the day view. So rather than in EMUI 10, you would have to scroll through to find a particular month. In EMUI 11, you can just pinch zoom like this and it automatically groups your photos by month. So it's a lot easier and a lot faster to find photos uh, rather than scrolling through all of them like you did before. There are also a few visual tweaks that have been done to some of the UI elements and apps, including navigation and other apps like the phone dialer, the gallery, etc. So we're in the phone dialer app at the moment, and you'll notice that if I swipe down on the dial pad, the actual call button slides from the center to the right-hand side, like so. Whereas on EMUI 10, if I do that, it just snaps to the right-hand side. So it's just a simple example of you know, some of the minor um, tweaks that have been done to just improve the overall look and feel of EMUI uh, running on these Huawei phones. Another cool addition is uh, with the ringtone. Now when your phone actually rings and it vibrates, it vibrates in sync with the ringtone. So it's kind of a small feature that maybe makes the phone a little bit more personal for you. Smart multi-window is a new feature in EMUI 11 and allows you more finer control over running apps simultaneously on your phone. So for example on EMUI 10 I can go into my apps like so and I can basically do that and it'll snap half of my screen to an app and I can continue using the rest of my phone. On EMUI 11, it's a little bit differently. I can go like this and say I want to snap the uh, gallery app. The app actually becomes a uh, floating window which you can then sort of drag around and you can even click on the bottom and resize it. And of course, you can minimize like so. When you minimize it, it actually becomes available here on the side. So you can just tap it with one go and bring it back on screen. And of course, you wanna make it full screen as well. Just tap this icon and it fills the entire screen. If you're constantly taking notes on your phone, then the Notes app has a few handy features as well. So we're gonna go into the app now. You can actually create a note and snap a photo of something and extract text from that image. So we're gonna go into this note over here. Go into our gallery, we've got an image already over there that has some text in it. So we're going to insert that into the document like so. We just have to click and hold and say extract text. And then it's extracted straight away from the image. Obviously there are a little bit of learning curves to get through it, but if you have an image that is one of the supported languages, you can basically extract text directly from pretty much any image you've taken a photo of on your uh, camera. So that's it for a quick look at EMUI 11. Now it's important to note that EMUI 11 is still running on Android version 10, but we expect a later update to come through which allows it to run on Android 11 as well. Let us know what you thought of the differences and uh, if you're looking forward to upgrading to EMUI 11 in the future. This is Nick signing off, but for everything in the world of tech, keep it locked right here at techradar.com.